guest today, uh, Mr. Lou Savarese, uh, former heavyweight boxer. Uh, we're here at your wonderful facility here, the uh, Fight Fit. And uh, on Friday, we have a great event. Uh, you want to tell us about it, sir? Well, this Friday we're doing, uh, it's going to be uh, pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to be sparring 22 rounds with 22, uh, 20, probably not 22, different guys, but it'll be uh, 22 rounds with different people, and everybody's giving a thousand dollars a round, and 100 percent of the proceeds is going to the PTSD Foundation. Uh, it's just something I'm really uh, passionate about. I have a friend that came home um, from from Afghanistan and took his life, and um, it's just you know it just seems like it doesn't seem fathomable to me that that many people you know in do this every day, and it's more like 30 to say nowadays, 30 wow. a day. Uh, I got, I was lucky enough to be able to interview uh, David Mallsby, the president of the PTSD Foundation. He had told us, but you know, I just, just what, more than anything, I would like to just bring some, you know, know to let people know about this, you know, and just see if we can get it, you know, do something that's got to be. I'm not. You know, that's not my field. I don't know what it is with the mental illness, but there's got to be something. Hopefully, <clears throat> we can be preemptive or proactive and take help these guys out a lot. You know, so what we're doing um, this Friday, I'll be sparring 22 rounds, uh, and the 22 rounds, uh, everybody's gonna donate a thousand around. So we're gonna give 22,000, 100 percent of the proceeds are gonna go to the PTSD Foundation. So it's gonna be a, a hard, a hard one. I'm not that young anymore, you know. I'm 50, 56, so I'm getting old, but I'm in yeah. pretty good shape. So hopefully it'll be all right. Oh yeah, you're still in pretty good shape, man. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I look at it, 56 years old. I, yeah. I mean, you, you still got a good another 20 month, 20 years before you. Oh my man. Old, man, come on now. <laughs> I mean, I seen Mike Tyson, you know, because. Uh, yeah. You had your show here, uh, yeah. From the Heart, that plays every Wednesday here. Yeah. And uh, you were talking about uh, Mike Tyson and meeting him. And uh, yeah. you had a fight with him that was a pretty big fight. I actually I actually watched it. Really? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm, I'm not. Can we talk about fights I won? Why are we going to talk about fights? I won a lot of fights, too. Yeah, well, that's true. You, you won, have, you won you a lot have, more You ever have, have a bad podcast? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Uh, nah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, just talking about uh, you getting involved in yeah. Uh, I, I'm glad that you decided to do that because as a former veteran myself, I know, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you for your service. What, oh, what branch were you? I was in the Navy. I was in thank the Navy. You, sir. So it's, it's great that uh, people are paying attention to the problems that we deal with once we take off the uniform. Yeah. So uh, th I'm, I'm going to be there, and I think that's going to be an absolute great I appreciate great event, it. Let, so me, I can't wait. let me ask you a question real quick. I mean, yes, sir. So, you, you, do you, I mean, I talked to a fellow today, amazing guy. Uh, he was a captain in the military, and he was telling me he felt that a lot of it was because, you know, you're so regimented and you have, and you have a, you know, you have your day is kind of, right, you know, right. and he said, then the other thing that was really interesting, I didn't notice, he said, when he started off, I can't remember what branch he was in, but when he started off, it's always about you and one of the soldiers, how you guys are together, that's your family, yes. and then they go a little bit more, it's you and the brigade, you and, and then they keep making, and he right. said, so when you, you know, he said a lot of times when these guys get home, they feel alone, you know, it's exactly. really interesting, so. Yeah, but. yes, sir, it's, it's, I mean, we're human at the end of the day, yeah. you know, military life is, is so uh, organized, and yet that could put a lot of duress on people, so, yeah. you know, psychologically, when you're trying to be in this box and you're trying to do all these things, you're under this command, you're under this person's thumb, you know, it takes a toll after a while. So a yeah. lot of guys, you know, we learn to handle it, but some, you know, some don't do it as well as others. Yeah. And uh, that's when you end up running into the psychological problems that a lot of these guys deal with once they leave the field. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's a different, different, different factor. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Right. and me, me not, you know, me not knowing much about it. I mean, I took my sure. sister as a PA uh, for um, for mental health, and 
she's you know she's saying it's not a definitive thing, but that, you know there's a lot of factors. But I was just wondering if there's something you know, me being a neophyte, not knowing that much about it, there's something we can do. You know, be proactive or have, when they come in, mm -hmm. that we have somebody you know waiting for them and some kind Absolutely, of. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't know, but I just I just want to bring some awareness to it. That's all I I'm and, hoping to do. You know, know what? What you're doing, I, it, I think, is a great start. I, I appreciate it. Because at the very least, it gets the conversation going. Yeah, It yeah. gets the awareness going. So, yeah, uh, I'm, once I'm, again, I'm, I'm absolutely excited. No, I appreciate it. I'm not, I'm not a quitter either. I'm gonna, I, you see, I get knocked out, I get back up. But hey, you, know, I to say <laughs> you know what? And I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, now that I have you here, you know, we work, I've worked a couple of episodes here, you know, met you a couple of times. Yeah. We never really got to have a hard, hard conversation. So right. you being a former professional athlete, you know, uh, I just want to get your thoughts because I know you probably answered a thousand of these questions. No, no, bro, no. But, uh, you know, you talked about, you know, those fights against uh, Mike Tyson or yeah. Vander Holyfield. And uh, you also fought George Foreman. Yeah, for Foreman. Yeah, yeah, I'm was, Buster Douglas, too. Yes, sir, Buster Douglas. So, yeah. you know, uh, my question to you, uh, Mr. Lou, uh, when you're in those moments, like what, what, what fight, what particular opponent was like when you got into the ring, you said, wow, this is, this is, this is something special. You know, Tyson, in a sense, just because it was the biggest event. Right. When I fought Foreman, it was a big event. We did the uh, press conference at the Windows of the World, former, formerly World Trade Center. We did that. So that was, and I, at the time of my career, my last fight before that was on ESPN. It was a pretty big fight, but nowhere near the magnitude of, of that event, you know. And it was uh, interesting because they did the worst thing they ever do to me. The press people, they said, get up there and say something about yourself. Uh -huh. I wasn't that comfortable now. You can't shut me up. But <laughs> back then, it was, you know, I was nervous, and uh, so I didn't say much, you know. But uh, anyway, it, it was, the fight itself was huge. I mean, not as big. The Tyson thing just had, everybody knew right. about it. We fought in the UK, and uh, it, it was, you know, just the event itself was huge. I mean, wherever Tyson goes, he That's brings cool. so much, uh, you know, so much notoriety, and people just want to see him, you know? Right, so it was mid-90s, so he... Yeah, really yeah, that. and he just had, you know, not a good thing, but it was more more about, he had, you know, he was just got released from jail, he had a bunch of yeah. stuff going on at the time, you know? Yes, yeah, sir. And, and then getting back to you, you know, yeah. talking about the fight game, uh, as, as you came up as a fighter, uh, who were some of your heroes? Who, who were the people that... Lou Savarese looked up to. I was a boxing historian. I still am. I love the old fighters. I mean, I love Joe Lewis. I just like his Lewis. style. Yeah, Joe Lewis was unbelievable for me. It was probably the best heavyweight, I think, technically. Um, you know, Ali, I loved Ali. He was his chin. You know, everybody talks about his speed, yeah. his, you know, uh, his moving. But the thing I think probably his best asset, which actually became, you know, uh, not good detrimental for him was his chin. He had, right, you know, right. his heart. He had such a, I mean, I just saw something. I watch boxing films all the time. I just it's it's fun for me. It's therapeutic, and yes, I just saw it. It was so cool. I never saw it before. But a foreman was talking about finding Ali, and he said he said it didn't make sense. He said his eyes were closed. It was out, and he didn't. And he just and it just it was so wild to hear him say that, you know. Oh. And he because you know <clears throat> Ali did something nobody would ever even think about doing. He basically just said that, you know, did the rope a dope and yeah, let absolutely. Foreman punch him, who Foreman is, you know, probably, if not, top three hardest punchers ever in the history of boxing. Wow. I can't imagine just sitting there and letting him wail on, you know. Yeah. And that may have been, you know, that had led to his, you know, his, uh, his demise, yeah. Right. Les, I, when I met Ali, <clears throat> it was at the... Uh, in the Galleria at the uh, the Western Hotel, they had a box, and he was there, but it was so sad because he was still, you know, he, you can see he still had the charisma and everything, but he, was, he just wasn't himself, and he was shaking real bad. He couldn't talk very well, but uh, he was an amazing athlete, too. That's the guy I really looked up to. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, you know, talking about the past, now we get to the present. Yeah. You know, uh, who, who, what fighter right now uh, you know, is I, your favorite? Yeah, it's a great favorite. I, I really... The, you know, Canelo is just, you know, he's larger yeah, life. He's great for boxing, too, because he brings so much, you know, so much notoriety to it. You know, people like him. But he keeps winning fights. I think he's going to, you know, I think when he first started, he fought a guy, one of our trainers here, Austin Trout. Oh. He won a close fight and won it, though. But then he took on a fight against uh, Laura, who I thought was a crazy fight for him. And he won it, you know. He wins a lot of fights. I didn't think he could win. He's he's tough, man. He keeps. He seems like he gives himself the best chance. He's always in oh. shape. It's not like you know some fighters. You hate to 
you know, you just think I used to be like, what, are you kidding me? I mean, I was too scared. I wanted to train, be in the best shape I could be. But some guys, it's questionable, you know. But he's always in shape. He's great for the sport. Yeah. I like him. And then from a boxing standpoint, I love this kid, Terrence Crawford. He can really, yes, really sir. fight, yes, yeah. Sir. I the only guy that can beat him is himself, you know. Because, yeah, some Mr. Razor, really, that kid can really fight. Absolutely, and and you being a heavyweight, yeah. You know, what, what what about you know? I love I love what's his name. I mean, I just he, I think he's he's worth the price of admission. The the the, the, Brit, the big Brit. Oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind. The big Brit. Um, he's fighting. He's fighting. Uh, the, uh, he's fighting a uh, white. He's fighting Dillian White. Uh, uh, Anthony Fury. No, no, Fury. Oh, right. Tyson Fury. Okay, yeah, Tyson okay. Fury. The, the I like him. King. The Gypsy <laughs> King. Yeah, he's got some. You know, he's funny and he's, he's right, good. Right. Yeah, I think he's good for the sport too. He's all, you know. You look at all the other collateral stuff about him, but he can fight. I mean, he can really fight the guy. He's you know he's six eight, six nine, right. and moves real well. He's a hard guy that's to fight. Me. You know, that's he's hard. I tell people he's hard to fight. You know, from just because he's big and he's mobile and stuff. But even another thing people don't realize to get a sparring partner to emulate him would be very hard. You know, oh, he's a big cool. yeah big guy, and then he's so flexible and six, moves six, on. Eight, right? Yeah, he's a big yeah, dude, man. Really tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When I fought, I fought a couple of really big guys. I fought a guy, uh, Mount Whitaker, he was 6'7". I fought a guy, Michael Grant, was 6'8", too. Big dudes, man. Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah They so. should stick to hooping. <laughs> well, I mean, if they, hey, nah, they, they can battle I'm in joking. the ring. So I'm joking, I'm Either joking. you got a right hook or you got a jump shot. I guess <laughs> they just settled on that. But, uh, I did not have a jump shot, man. <laughs> yes, yeah, I, you're, like, you're a pretty tall dude yourself. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. It's bad, man. I got a two-inch vertical. It ain't pretty. Oh, okay. I, I know you tried it because you're from New York. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 more, I, more, I have been. I have more knockouts in the basketball court than right that. <laughs> and it was bad, man. I was, bad. I was like barking. I get my butt and I just, you know, whatever. It, was, it wasn't pretty. Was uh, I guess I'm done, yeah. But, but uh, once again, uh, Mr. Lou, uh, your, your great event. Uh, you just want to go ahead and plug that for us, let everybody know the Yeah, time. thank you again. Yeah, so 6 o'clock is going to be here at 4215 Bel Air Boulevard. Right here, and you can come in. We'll have some food from B and B Butchers, one of the best uh, best restaurants in town. And B and B Butchers are doing this pro rally. They're great guys are always helpful, and I'm really excited. We got some great guys coming. It's gonna be fun. It'll be a fun time. And uh, parking, we have everything taken care of. So come on down, grab some good food, and have fun. All Thank right. you, man. I really Thank appreciate you, it, buddy. Appreciate All right, it, and check out the event. Yes, sir. What, what? Event every uh, Tuesdays, you're on Max Sports TV. You know, I'm glad I got this interviewing, so I'm gonna. Uh, Hold it over my co-host's head. So. All right, man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Mr. Lou Savarese. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.